Hi, I'm Cam Edwards. We've got another example of media misinformation to tell you about. This time around from the Dean of Media Misinformation, if you will, Mr. Dan Rather. Yes, the guy who brought us fake but accurate. Now just going whole hog nutty when it comes to the issue of quote unquote assault rifles. Take a listen. For an assault weapon, there's no excuse to have an assault weapon. Nobody would be needs a, a 100 bullet magazine. Growth would be a place I mean, to start. On magazine uh, alone, surely. The NRA could just say, you know what, we, we agree. No, but you know, we go go hunting with a hundred bullets in a magazine, blow a deer to smithereens. <laughs> That's not sport, it's not hunting. So what do you need them for? You don't need them to defend yourself. You're going to spray gun people who come to steal a television set. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a little bonus Piers Morgan in there too, by the way. So Dan Rather says, well, you don't need, why does anybody need one of these assault weapons? Now look, Dan, I, there are plenty of reasons why people need these ARs. More importantly, this is the Bill of Rights. This is not the Bill of Needs. Whether it's for hunting, whether it's for target shooting, whether it's for plinking, whether it's for none of your business, Dan, there are millions of Americans who safely and responsibly own these firearms and have, by the way, since 1964, which is when the AR platform was first available uh, on the civilian market. The gun itself, by the way, designed in 1957, which means the same attitude that wants to ban these modern firearms, if they're being consistent, would probably also like to ban that newfangled rock and roll. We'll be back with another example of media misinformation before long. But in the meantime, be sure to check us out online at NRANews.com for the latest Second Amendment news and information each and every weekday.